Good, I'm going to talk to you about the Do You Even Level 2 course uh, with Health and Peer. So this course is worth 14 Level 3 unit standard credits. The course is designed around uh, those that want to be physios, personal trainers, um, strength conditioning coaches, anything in the, uh, that area. Um, the, the assessments in this class are you are being assessed on your demonstration of correct technique and knowledge of uh, different exercises and muscle groups. Uh, and you also have to run a session for the class uh, that is designed and implemented by yourself. The vocational pathways include social and community services uh, and also service industry. Okay, our recommended entry, so it is um, expected that you do the level one, do even course and submit all your work, um, but that can also be uh, decided by the HOD. Um, the course fees, there are a $30 course fees for this class. This covers your use of the armory uh, during class time and also any one-off uh, speakers or um, personal training sessions that we have in the class. Hi guys, I'm going to talk to you today about the Level 2 BTF course. This course has 14 Achievement Standards credits. Uh, the purpose of this course was geared around those who have an interest in sport and physical activity and the effect of it on themselves, others and society. The vocational pathway for this course is Creative Industries, Service Industries, Social and Community Services. The recommended entry for this course uh, that students must have submitted all assessments in Level 1 PE. They must have Level 1 Literacy, but it can also be gained entry can also be gained by discretion of the HOD, which is me. The course outline is uh, in this class you will begin to look at the role that physical activity plays in the life of self, others and society. Um, and you'll do this by reflecting on your own experience as well as that of others. Um, students will also focus on an event and in our case we look at Super Rugby competition um, and again its effect on self, others and society. Gavin will get together and we will learn um, how to coach students. Uh, we'll go down to Fraser Crescent, uh, take four sessions and then organise a tournament for them back here at school. The course fees uh, for BTF Level 2 are $10 and this covers a subscription to the My Study Series uh, website and resource. Thanks. Hey guys, just want to discuss uh, the level two um, B and S course. Uh, so the purpose of this course uh, it's geared towards those who see uh, sport as an important part of their future, be that as a player, a coach, a PE teacher, through sport management, uh, as a trainer, or even in the field of video analysis. Uh, vocational pathways that come as a result of the course it could be into creative industries, service industries, uh, social and community services as well. So the recommended entry. For the students uh, who would like to participate in the course, um, you must have submitted all your assessments in PE 101. Um, you must play an approved sport for the school or for a club. Uh, however, entry can be given as well by the head of department with a uh, strong recommendation. Okay, so the course outline. Uh, in this class, you'll participate in a variety of practical sessions, but you'll be focusing primarily on your own sport. Uh, you'll be assessed on your ability in that chosen sport. Uh, it's a very, very practical year and you'll be looking at ways and techniques for you to improve in your given sport, not just by improving your fitness, but also increasing your knowledge of biophysical principles and then putting those into action. Um, you'll be assessed on level of social responsibility that you show throughout the year and the way that you interact with your peers. Basically, the course is structured um, that it's a $40 fee, uh, but that gives you use of the armory, guest speakers, uh, and subscri subscription to my study series resource. Ms. Beckett here, so I'm just talking about Level 2 Health Education. Um, so this course is based around well-being for others and it progresses on from Level 1, well-being for self. So key things with this, this course is geared towards those who are interested in working with others and developing interpersonal skills um, to be able to deal with different situations in their lives. So this is hugely relationship based and is the, the main focus is on well-being for others. Level 2 Health Education um, has a vocational pathway of social and community services, service industry and creative industry, industries. 
So it teaches great life skills and most of the stuff that we're dealing with in level two health is very scenario based and can relate to many different aspects of your life. Um, recommended entry, so we do prefer if you have done level one health, um, moving into this and have a basic understanding of whole water. Uh, the course outline, so we'll focus on health issues, we'll have a look at adolescent health issues, we'll look a bit more at well-being, um, actions needed to improve and enhance the well-being of others and look at things to um, improve your own personal health as well. There are no course fees for this subject, so yeah, get involved. My name's Zach Humphrey. I do BNS, BTF and DU Eben. I like doing PE at Heratonga College because we have great facilities and good teachers to work with and we have great fun doing it. Hi, I'm Jess. Um, I take BTF and BNS. Um, what I like about BTF is you do a lot of learning about like societal impacts and like it helps you understand like things about the game you play. Um, and what I like about BNS is it's real practical so you get to do whatever you want and like you train in your sport and it helps you improve a lot better. Uh, my name is Dan from Kran. Um, I'm from, originally from South Africa, recently moved to New Zealand. I take two PE classes, PE BTF and PE BNS. Um, I guess if I had to say stuff I like about BTF would, would be the skills you learn inside it like the leadership skills and how to motivate your friends and your peers. Um, it also gives you a wide a wide, um, how should I say it, a wide perspective of how Super Rugby and all those things work in life regarding to sport beyond the field. Reco um, according to BNS, um, I would say I really enjoy working on my skill based, which they give you a choice to choose your own skills. Um, they really teach you about your body and how you can improve your skills in your sport to really reach your goals and achieve the top of whatever you want to achieve in life. And I just really enjoy the chance that I can actually get to choose what I have to do and I'm not not compressed to choose one thing that everyone has to do and I really enjoy that.